hey creators, if you want to make YouTube titles that get views, this is going to be the most valuable video you have ever watched. I'm gonna share three examples. Example number one is a video I used there. I put the keyword of my title at the beginning and used my keyword repeater strategy. This one's gonna get about a million views by the time it's out. 80% of the traffic is from search. I'm gonna show you how I did example number two, a video using an affiliate marketing strategy that puts the keywords at the end of my title. This video has made me $10,000 in affiliate revenue so far. I'm gonna show you how I did that YouTube title and how it continues to generate results over, what, almost two years later. And I'm also gonna show you strategy number three, which is taking someone else's title on YouTube, making a better video than them, and then getting big results over time. As you can see, this one's been performing for almost a year. Almost all of this traction is from YouTube search. How did I do it? It's so simple. You install this tool. They do not pay me to say this. I am sharing with you my affiliate link for TubeBuddy tubebuddy.com slash AWOL versus. It is a tool that I've used for my personal channel, for my mega media corporation clients, and full-time multi-million follower creators that I advise. Download it right now for free using my affiliate link so I get credit for the install. And then you're gonna go through a very simple process for each of these three methods. The place you're gonna wanna go is clicking that TubeBuddy tab up there and then going to Keyword Explorer. You can click it here. You can click Keyword Explorer here. And the third location you can access Keyword Explorer in is you go to the Details tab on your video, and you just scroll down to the bottom past your tags, and you click Keyword Explorer here, and this is where your session will begin. In order to use the Keyword Explorer to get an effective title, I'm assuming that you already know what your primary keyword is going to be for your video. If you don't already know your primary keyword, Watch my previous videos in this series that help you figure that out. But in this case, for this example, it'll be Facebook gaming. It's just the example I've been using. Here's how you use the Keyword Explorer to optimize a title with this primary keyword. First things first, you're gonna look at the Weighted tab, which is going to tell you how optimized that keyword is for your title based on your average views per video down here versus the lowest viewed search result for that key term and the average viewed search result on YouTube in particular, okay? Then you're gonna look and as you can see, it's only a fair optimization, it's not that great because I'm only getting 586 average views per video on this tiny personal channel I have versus the average of 16,000, okay? So you're gonna wanna take a look at that and look at the unweighted tab. Ooh, boy, is that bad. It looks like we have some work to do. So how do we find a title that we can break through on? Video searches is a great stop. Video searches is YouTube search essentially. Look through these different titles that you see here, click them and check them out. Web searches is Google search. Look through these potential titles, click them and check out the optimization score. My first stop though, I like to look at video topics. So for this video, we're just gonna click this top one and just see how it's doing. All right, as we can see, this top video topic isn't that optimized, right? It's fair. It looks like there's still pretty high competition based on our average views per video. Let's dive a little bit deeper and look at this actual video search that people are doing on YouTube for this particular topic and see how it does. Boom. Like, that's pretty awesome. So we already found a optimized title that we can use straight up just like that. Very good score. As you can see, the average video in search results is 15,000. We feel, the TubeBuddy feels like it can rank us for this particular key term. There are 3.8 million videos and search results that could recommend to our content. There's lower competition, that's why it says very good. The search volume is fair, so it's pretty decent. This is a video I would make. How to earn money using Facebook gaming, okay? That's the process you're gonna go through. Looking at weighted scores, unweighted scores, video searches, web searches, and video topics until you find an optimized title. Cool? Cool. Now you know how to use the tool, but what is the strategy behind selecting the right title? Okay, you have to listen to this part. This is the most critical part of this video. Okay, so strategy number one is what I talked about earlier. You put the key term at the very beginning of your title, then you repeat it very early in your description. If you can put the words themselves in the actual thumbnail, do it. Then go down to the tag section, make that your top tag, that actual keyword. And if you can, name the video file that you uploaded to YouTube 
that title. As you can see, I did that right here. You're repeating that freaking keyword everywhere you can to tell YouTube to give it a signal that this video is about this keyword, this keyword, this keyword. Say the t that actual keyword in your video verbally multiple times. This is method number one. This is what I like to call the hammer YouTube over the freaking face with that keyword as hard as you can by prioritizing the keyword at the very beginning of your title, not in the middle, not at the end, right there out front. Strategy number two is what I like to call the kitchen sink strategy, where you're putting very important secondary key terms toward the end of your video to help your video be discovered for things that are related to your primary keyword, which in this case is creator microphones, all right? So as you can see with using this strategy, you're gonna wanna fill up every character you got there. I did 100 out of 100. You're gonna wanna do the same thing where you name the file, that actual title. I literally copy pasted the title as the top of my description to reinforce all of those key terms. And as you can see with my tags, I repeated most of these key terms here, best microphones, 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 microphones. And I added secondary key terms such as YouTube, podcasting, gaming creators, streaming, into the tags as well to reinforce those key terms. This is the kitchen sink strategy. It really works, especially if you're in a high competition sector on YouTube, like videos that recommend microphones to creators are very high competition. By adding in YouTube, gaming, streaming, vocals, and podcasting, anyone that's searching for best YouTube mic for YouTubers, best YouTube mic for gamers, best YouTube mic for streaming, you get the point, is gonna find my video over time as opposed to my competitors' videos. Look at the analytics. It's so freaking interesting when you use this strategy. Let me show you the lifetime performance. This video sucked for the first two months of me using it. But because I put in all those extra keywords at the end of my title, people eventually started searching for those niche topics. And eventually, YouTube figured out that this is a great video overall for creator microphones. Because I put those other key terms in there, it helped push me over the hump and helped... YouTube discover my video and help viewers discover my video for the secondary key terms as well, which pushed it in the algorithm super hard. Get it? The third strategy is called the skyscraper strategy, where you're basically looking at videos like the one you wanna make or release on YouTube, take their best practices and do it better than them. In this case, I was trying to make a video about YouTube hashtags, a feature that just came out around the time that I did this, and I wanted to become the number one search result for this topic, so how do I accomplish that? Well, I just go look at videos that already came out on the topic and get some inspiration. So in this case, and this is just an example, these aren't the actual videos that were there a year and a half ago. People had videos that were like, how to add hashtags above your video title. I saw that, videos like that were the number one search result, or YouTube hashtags, how to add above your title, et cetera. And I was thinking, huh, how can I do this better? I would also look at a thumbnail like this that literally showed the hashtags above the video titles here, and I'm like, okay, what are these guys doing well and how can I take everything that they're doing well and just combine it all and do it better? So what I did is I took how to add YouTube hashtags above your title and I made that a succinct title with an exclamation point that was under the sweet spot of 50 characters. For those of you that tuned in toward the end of the video, this is your power tip. Keep your titles under 50 characters if you're looking to use the skyscraper strategy or any title strategy at all. 50 characters is the magic number you wanna hit or stay under so your title doesn't spill over the bottom or become an ellipses and part of it is missing, okay? When people view it on mobile, 50 characters, okay? So I use that best practice. Then I said, you know what? This thumbnail down here actually shows the hashtags above the title. How about I arrow that and show that in mine? And I was looking at these other titles, these thumbnails at a glance. I'm like, this one really communicates what's going on, but what if I made it a bit more interesting and I talked about something new, a new search feature, which is what this is, and I communicated more value. So I combined everything that was good about all my competitors, I eliminated everything that was bad about the, what they did, and I arrived at this optimized title right here, and I ended up becoming the number one search result for YouTube hashtags as a result. The skyscraper strategy 
counts on you doing research and thinking critically about what your competitors are doing in order to beat them at their own game and hopefully, as you can see from the results on this video, get long-term performance. I mean, this video is still performing all this time later. YouTube hashtags are not that important, really, but people still wanna know how they work, and I'm still getting 200 views a day on this thing, and I released it back in 2018. Pretty sick, right? It's so simple, guys. Just download TubeBuddy. It is a free tool. Use my affiliate link so I get credit for the install and start making better YouTube titles today. These are my best secrets I use for mega media corporations, huge media companies, multi-million subscriber brands. I just gave it to you for free. So if you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe to my channel, enable notifications, and share this with your creator buddies. I am here to help. Adios, creators, and good luck.